actually bought uh, another boat from uh, Eric as a starter, uh, Shapiro boat, and uh, after one year, I think it was uh, time for me to uh, upgrade. And uh, with the good experience I had with Eric, uh, it's easy for me to uh, switch to a Meridian, especially with the uh, trade-in he did by taking back the old boat. Basically, it's uh, quite, e quite easy to dock uh, with a feature called Total Command. You know, anybody can uh, easily dock the boat, uh, even single-handedly. Um, the accommodation, full of Um, I actually bought uh, another boat from uh, Eric as a starter, uh, Shapiro boat, and uh, after one year, I think it was uh, time for me to uh, upgrade. And uh, with the good experience I had with Eric, uh, it's easy for me to uh, switch to a Meridian, especially with the uh, trade-in he did by taking back the old boat. Basically, it's uh, quite, e quite easy to dock uh, with a feature called Total Command. You know, anybody can uh, easily dock the boat, uh, even single-handedly. Um, the accommodation, full accommodation with a full bedroom, a stateroom, two staterooms, a galley, and especially the, uh, the bridge with, uh, is a good place for entertainment. The was was uh, experience with uh, dealing with Eric. Um, I did, of course, uh, consider other brands, but uh, I thought that uh, Meridian gave uh, good value for money. Um, I would say that uh, when you're choosing the dealer, you have to find some who, somebody who uh, would be able to guide you, you know, to uh, the nuance of uh, boating, you know, because uh, it can be quite uh, intimidating for somebody with, who's, who has uh, no boating experience to start. So find somebody you feel comfortable with uh, uh, to deal with. Yeah. You know, we came to Singapore about a year and a half ago. Um, my wife and I were thinking uh, we've never owned a boat before. Uh, so that's the time when in the show we were talking to uh, Eric in SG Boating. We're looking for uh, a very practical, smaller size boat uh, because we're the first, hand, first uh, ownership. Um, and then we found the range of uh, Chaparral offering a lot of flexibility. Uh, the size and also a very practical value for the money you spend. So that's why we go for Chaparral. But we enjoyed it. Uh, again, uh, my wife and I all like you know, going out to the sea because it's very relaxed. Uh, you always think about it, but you never get to, tr to see the true value of it until you get onto your boat and really get out to the sea. And I think it's, uh, it's a fantastic experience and I strongly recommend it to anybody. For, for new boat owners, my message to give it to them, uh, based on my experience, is really force yourself the time to get out. Um, very often you always think, oh, I'm new, I'm not used to this, I'm not used to the rules and the regulations, and therefore let's make sure we're comfortable before we go out to the sea. Um, my advice is don't worry about it. Uh, once you get the license, you got the boat, get out and enjoy it. After we, uh, after we got this boat, uh, the best experience I have has always been after work. My wife and I can you know, go out to the canal area in Sentosa. 
uh, holding a glass of wine, enjoy the sea breeze, and that's really give me a very refreshing and relaxing experience. And so far, I strongly recommend that. Yeah, I enjoy it very much too. So I just find it a different, very different uh, lifestyle, and we both like it very much. After looking around uh, Singapore, there's actually uh, only a few dealers in Singapore and out of all the ones that I looked at and the features on the boat that were available, the Chaparral was uh, the one that suited my requirements the best. And uh, obviously you've got to take price into consideration as well and compared to the other brands it was about the same if not even slightly less than, than some of the brands they sell in Singapore. So overall it was just a good package. Well, the reason I like this particular boat is uh, basically just the design of it. It's got an open bow uh, as opposed to a cabin. So I like the fact that you can just load her up with people. You can get 10 people on the boat, which is its maximum uh, capacity. And I didn't feel the need for a cabin in this climate in Singapore to sit inside in the heat. So <laughs> it actually suits my purposes. Well, it's given me an opportunity to get out and explore a bit more of Singapore, something that I never saw before. Get a chance to go to the Southern Islands, which are only about five minutes away get out and uh, do some more water skiing, which I used to do in my youth a <laughs> long time back. So it's basically uh, opened up the options for recreational activities. Yeah, generally uh, get a group of friends together and get the cool box loaded up with lots of nice cold things and uh, do the lock. And generally we normally go out to Palau Hantu, which is the area designated for water skiing. We're gonna have a bit of a ski or tow some people on a float behind the boat a few drinks, something to eat, and then normally wind up at Saringkat Island in the bay and uh, just anchor and sit there and relax and watch the sun go down. SG Boating has actually been very helpful since I've had the boat. Uh, they, they give excellent uh, after sales support. You can call up Eric any time of day or night. He'll always give you an answer or help you out. And uh, overall, I'm very satisfied with the service provided by them. So I'd, I'd definitely go back if I ever get the inclination to buy a bigger boat. Just an advice to new boaters, go down and uh, Visit SG Boating, see what they have on offer, get yourself a good deal and get on the water. Enjoy the lifestyle. <music>